Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the home of all things FIFA career mode. In this video I will share with you my favourite way of building a full squad of Youth Academy players. Firstly, if you pre-ordered FIFA 22, you will be lucky enough to get homegrown talent every new career mode. If you have a homegrown talent, I can guarantee he will be your best player in a Youth Academy career mode and I suggest building your team around him. When building a Youth Academy squad, I like to start at the back, building foundations with a solid defence. So to build those solid defensive foundations, the best player type to search for is physically strong. The most commonly returned positions when scouting for physically strong players are central defensive midfield who are very easy to convert to a centre back, right and left back and a big powerful number 9 type striker. Standalone centre backs are very hard to find in FIFA 22 career mode but tall central defensive midfielders are very easy to convert into centre backs. I recommend at least two monthly scouting reports searching physically strong type players to get all defensive positions covered and hopefully a couple of strikers too. Once you have all the big powerful positions covered, it's then time to add a bit of quality in midfield by searching for technically gifted type players. As I've already said, use the development plan to convert tall central defensive midfielders into centre backs and also to cover left and right back positions, but also be flexible with your formation. Back to the quality midfielders and the most commonly returned positions when searching for a technically gifted type player are central midfield, right and left midfield, central attacking midfield and centre forward. Just to reiterate, it is very important to continue to use development plans to help cover all positions in your formation. By this point, you should have all central positions and fullbacks sorted. It's now time to search for the final positions of wingers and goalkeeper. And the reason for leaving these positions until last is simply because these are the easiest to find via Youth Academy Scouting. And even when searching winger if you were to find a centre forward or central attacking midfielder, they are very easy to convert to right or left wing. So by building your Youth Academy squad around your homegrown talent, following that up with some strong defensive foundations, adding a bit of quality with technically gifted midfielders and finally finding a goalkeeper and some wingers, you could end up with a decent squad by the end of season number one. Thank you so much for watching this video, please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.